The first project had begun a while ago, when I'd bought a share of a local brewery and asked Rick, the master brewer there, to create a lager using diddly squat barley. So this is where it's coming from. Exactly. And now, a couple of months later, it was ready to sample. Is there a name for this beer? So, yeah, I've got an idea. Ah, oh, good. Hmm. There's this rock. It's not quite on the farm, but very close to where we grow the spring barley. Yes. And it's called the Hawkstone. <laughs> it was put there by Neolithic people. Thousands and thousands of years ago, Stonehenge type. Wow. Which sounds cold. It does, it doesn't sounds it? sounds Cotswoldy. Mm. Right, is this it? Yes. Mmm. It's a nice beer. The difference between the, the premium and this new brew is probably all about um, hops as well. We've chosen some quite interesting hops. Mm. And one has melon-type characteristics. It's called Hull Melon. So that's from that one hop, but you might be getting other fruity flavours from a hop called Mandarina Bavaria. Mm. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's brilliant. For me, I get a soft and clean Ooh. style of beer. So if you make a beer with uh, a lot of maize or an unmalted adjunct, for example, mm. brewing authentically to the German... Or if I'm honest, German Rick's German lecture German. soon became a bit fuzzy. Uh, but even though I'd sampled many glasses uh, of this delicious new lager, I felt I should make a contribution. Okay. i tell you what this is. It's a wellness beer. It's, it's a spa beer. Since the man they were filming was now talking drivel... <laughs> you do. If you go to a spa, what they should say is, would you like... The crew decided to make better use of their time. <laughs> and then I was driven home by an extremely patient director. It's quite good fun developing your own beer. Yeah. The little bit of... He says he can tweak it, that's what brewers do, and he did a degree in it. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Gerald, diddly squats beer expert, let's be honest. I've got a case in the boot, I'll give him a shout, and um, he can come up and he can tell me what he thinks. Yeah. Back at the office, I assembled my judging panel. Ten past six. <laughs> that is beer time. This is our spring barley. Yeah. There you go. It is nice and clear, isn't it? It's a nice beer, that. Over the next couple of hours, we worked our way through the case and discussed many matters of great importance. I like a beer on a hot day. Yeah. I do like a beer on yeah. a hot day. Hard day's work, a beer after. Yeah, the couple of these, off you make with the, what you've got. I don't think that's doing for you. Sometimes, whatever you have, these out there, if it was about 90 degrees out there, go down a tree. You know, if I have a beer, I love yeah. the smell of beer. Yeah. I've been where you've been and he's been. It's because you're in barley. Put more than twice as big as that. Supper or pickled onions or something. Like the Agberg, whatever it is, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The wise words. Wise words. Yeah, I like a, I like a session beer because I like a lot of points. A session? What is a session? A session. He's going for the sesh. You know, a session <laughs> beer. Haven't yeah. had that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Shit.